Tina Sheff here. I'm sure some of you guys can relate to that video that I just uh, shot. Um, you know, I'm sure many of you guys are starting to develop a little bit more of a headache than you normally would just being at home and having to kind of deal with your kids all day long. So I wanted to put something really quick together that you guys can do that just actually feels really good um, to kind of do throughout the day or maybe at the end of the day when you've had, you just, Again, been in front of your computer or you're homeschooling your kids or your kids are just, you know, being a little crazy and nutbally, or you're, you know, you're being crazy with your kids and, and something accidentally happens and you're like, oh, my head is starting to hurt. I'm starting to develop um, a headache. So something super easy that you can do is actually get two tennis balls. So all of you guys should have tennis balls at home and stick it in a sock, okay? So put two tennis balls into a sock and what you guys are going to find is that now you have something that looks kind of like a peanut. Now, tie, go ahead and tie that sock up, okay? Like this, all right. And what you're going to do is we are going to place this in the back of your head. Now, why are we doing this? Well, usually with tension headaches, what ends up happening is these muscles in the back right below your skull, okay? Or your, cra otherwise known as your cranium. Right back here, these guys end up getting pretty tight, okay, on both sides. And that can happen because of various different reasons. Posturing with your head and neck forward, you know, someone accidentally hits you and, and, and your muscles, your, your neck muscles have, has to kind of react to that and these muscles can end up getting tight. So you take this, place this into the back of your head. So I'm gonna show you here. Hopefully you guys can see me. You're gonna take this, place it in the back right underneath your skull, okay? Where those muscles kind of meet. And you're gonna go ahead and just lie on that, okay? Now, the tendency sometimes is, is that this may slip depending on the type of head and neck kind of contouring you have. So what you could do is you could either hold it there with your hands like this, okay? And then go ahead and just let your muscles kind of relax into that, into those tennis balls, okay? Or if you can um, kind of stay there without your head kind of rolling down, all right? Then you can just keep your head and neck there and just let it relax, okay? Now, some people have gotten pretty um, uh, creative with this and they can create almost like a little block underneath here. And if you can get something that blocks that, then great. But for some of you, you're not gonna need that. Your head and neck is gonna be fine and it's gonna feel great, okay? And then for some of you, you're gonna actually have to hold it here for a little bit or just even hold it with one hand, anchor it, okay? And you just wanna hang out here. You can honestly hang out in this position for several minutes, okay? But for those of you who might be more sensitive, you may wanna just hold this maybe initially for a minute or so and work your way up over time to a couple of minutes. But again, really nice way to release those muscles in the back, and that should actually help with some of those tension headaches that you guys might be developing. So I hope you guys stay healthy, stay safe, wash your hands, take care, and I'll see you soon.